Hi, I'm Arielle Hickson, and today we're in one of the most popular shopping districts in New York City. Ever wonder how advertisers know exactly what you want even before you do? It's crazy, right? Well, today we'll reveal the science behind how they do it on the job with a market research analyst. And as someone who loves to shop, I'm pretty excited to find out. Let's go. Jason. Hey, it's nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. How does what we're doing today relate to being a market research analyst? Different firms, large firms, hire us to really learn about the consumer behavior and really understand what drives the customer to make purchases of different products or maybe even walk into one store over another. Let's go. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me, do you have time to participate in a focus group for a leading snack company? The sure. first task Jason gave me was to find shoppers willing to take part in a focus group. Yeah, too much. Okay, great. Based upon the respondents' answers, we can dig and probe a little further to find out a little bit more of what's driving their purchase habits. Okay, Jason, I have my focus group. What do you have planned for us? I want you to do your second task, which is to go down to the grocery store and pick out your three favorite afternoon snacks. Let's go, ladies. It's not very easy to deal with the public. You meet a lot of different types of people. Typically, we have multiple groups. In this case, we recruited just one group of females, uh, ages 15 to 25. Well, how did it go? Really well, I got a variety of snacks. Well, let's see what everyone got. Now we're gonna take these products and go back to the focus group facility and really understand why everyone purchased what they did. So welcome to Beta Research. Thank you for having me. So what do you guys do here? So we do a lot of different types of market research. We do quantitative research, such as mail, telephone, and online. And we also do qualitative research, such as social media research, and also focus groups. We go back to our company, mm -hmm. and we'll speak to our developers, and see if they can come up with a new product for the marketplace. What am I going to be doing today? I'm gonna, I have a little surprise for you. Huh. So why don't we go into our focus group facility, okay. and I'll tell you a little bit more. This is our focus group facility. Welcome to my office. The respondents that you recruited back at the shopping mall, we made sure that they met all the criteria that the client had agreed upon to make sure that they are the target audience for them. So who's our big client today? Well, the big surprise today is that I'm the client and you're the moderator. Hi everyone, we're gonna do some research to better understand consumer behavior. So the first thing I want you guys to do is rank your snacks from favorite to least favorite. Linda, why don't you trade snacks with anyone on the table? What does someone study to have a position here? Well, they can study a lot of different things. Obviously their computer skills have to be high. They should know statistics. They should have a, a good communication skills, good writing skills, mathematics. So basically, using math to help test consumer preferences and predict future sales. Okay guys, so I spoke with my client and for the next test, we would like you to combine two of your favorite snacks. Not that. <laughs> you're a fan of the puff. Well, if we're gonna choose the puff, I would like to go with the animal cracker powder. Animal taste with a puff. Feels like a cloud in your mouth. What would you guys name this new creation? Animal. Animal puffs. <laughs> so you guys are deciding on animal puffs for your creation. Yeah. Okay. So what are the different lifestyles with these positions? If you really want traveling, you might want to do moderating or sales. Mm -hmm. If you kind of want to stay domiciled within you know, the office space, you definitely want to maybe be a client service person. Mm -hmm. And if you kind of want to be tucked away at home a little bit and, and to do your projects, that might be better for an IT person. So that was great. Yeah, wasn't it interesting? I mean, animal puffs? I think we found out a lot of great insights. Well, we're gonna take the different insights that we learned about today, we're gonna go back to the company, we're gonna to speak to the developers and see if they can invent a new product for the marketplace. Awesome. Well, do you wanna be a guinea pig and try out this new creation? I think so. Be honest. Good? I like it, I think we might have a new popcorn product here. That's awesome. And that's a day in the life of a market research analyst. <laughs>